Hey everybody, we're at Apex Expo 2019 this week. One of the biggest players in the in-flight connectivity sector is of course in Marsat, and I am joined now by Dominic Walters, head, oh, sorry, VP of marketing for Inmarsat Hi, on the Inmarsat booth. Hi, hey. thanks for uh, having us here. Well, thanks for coming to the stand. My pleasure. So, Dominic, talk to me about satellites. <laughs> well, I mean, that's our game. So let me yeah. show you behind, behind me, we've actually got our entire constellation laid out for you. And um, this year has been a phenomenal year for Inmarsat with the announcement of satellites we've announced um, five new satellites, uh, a constellation called GX7, 8 and 9, which is going to be the most advanced and innovative satellites that have been launched, um, which will be coming in about 2023, mm -hmm. um, followed by GX 10A and 10B, which go over the Arctic. And um, that is going up actually in about 2022, I believe. Another big piece of news, uh, for Inmarsat here at the show is the release of the third part of your joint report with the London That's School right, of Economics, yeah. which I happen to have. Well, right it now. is chapter three, as you can see, and we're really, really proud of this. This is the third and final part of what has been a three-year journey with the London School of Economics. Mm -hmm. um, you may remember chapter one unveiled this 30 billion opportunity for um, airlines and 130 billion in total for the industry. A lot of billions. A lot of billions there. Yeah. Chapter two was 15 billion dollars of savings from an operational point of view. Mm -hmm. Chapter three changes the angle and the focus onto the passenger. And what it's really doing is unlocking um, what that opportunity is when you look at Gen Z and that group of individuals will be the biggest travelers in about five years. Now as probably most people know those are our first digital natives right. and they have a different demand. They basically will be glued to their phones constantly mm -hmm. and airlines and the industry and everyone is looking at how do you actually meet the needs and requirements of that generation. Right. LSE 3 looks at that but also what it does is it unveils um, what is available today and it's found something called the floating voter. So in political terms, a floating voter is an individual that any party can get at an election. They're not loyal to any party, they'll wait for the, um, that election period, that manifesto. There's a similar group of individuals on planes who are not 100% tied to an airline. Right. And the LSC have identified 450 million passengers today with a value of $33 billion who are open to um, potentially being grabbed by airlines. Right. And they've identified these people will be shifted by Wi-Fi. Okay. So that's a really interesting um, new part of our study there today. And the other thing is, which they've identified, is today loyalty schemes are a big part of airlines programs. Uh, and basically they say, Loyalty schemes will have to change as Generation Z and the older or the younger millennials come on board, they will want to see Wi-Fi and digitization as a key part of that loyalty structure. Makes sense. Um, Makes sense. So that's where the future is. Interesting. So how can people get their hands on this? We have it online in MarsatAviation.com, but also come round to the stand. All right, awesome. I know people have really enjoyed uh, the first two versions of the report. Um, why, why should, just quickly, why should people believe what's in here? How do we know that this information is, is unbiased and is not sort of, uh, you know, slanted to help no, you that's a good question. share your cause? I mean, I think the most important thing to, to remember with this is this has been carried out by the London School of Economics and Political Science, mm -hmm. one of the leading business schools. Their data is either their own, gathered internally from research they do, or from the industry, from IATA and from other sources. So it's a very independent piece of work.